All right, guys, I wanted to welcome you back. Um, <laughs> our first night did not go so well. I ended up dying, like, I want to say, like, four or five times at least. <laughs> so I just decided, screw it. I put it on a two-hour day, started over, um, ground out everything that I could. I spawned here, and I tried to find something. I, I'll figure the whole map thing out, but this spot was actually pretty cool, but it was like this little... King Kai's little planet of just like a little road right there in that lake. Uh, we ran over the mountain and we're starving, of course. There's a couple of POIs. There's a little town. It's got like a gas station and an apartment building, excuse me. But I decided this is where we're going to end up. And this road is actually cut into like the mountain and stuff. So it's pretty fucking cool. But anyway, um, I want to show you just so you, you know, that I can prove that I didn't really cheat or whatever. I did cheat, cheat in these two items right here, but everything else, and the brass and the cooking pot, everything else, I actually went and ground out as much as I could. I didn't find more cat food or whatever, and my tools and stuff are just a little bit higher, not a whole lot, I mean, not appreciably, but basically the only two things that I cheated in was a cooking pot, or the three things, it was a cooking pot, because I couldn't find it. The, these items right here that's it so if you have a problem with me having a really crappy hoodie and a really crappy coat that's fine dude I'm sure I'll find more clothes I can throw these out I don't care but anyway everything else I fucking busted my ass <laughs> as soon as I got off work and it was all I could in the grain alcohol because I, I couldn't find that but anyway everything else is completely legit whatever so I wanted to show you our little base. This should hold up. I, at least it's not going to be seven day horde ready or whatever. But we should be able to survive our first fucking night in the, at least I fucking hope. Because it was it was pretty rough, dude. Like, it was all I could do. I was dicking around with the cobblestone. These things have 1,500. How sweet is that? So, they're actually super easy to make, too. So, we might build, like, our first our actual seven day hoard out of, out of this stuff right here because all it is is one plant fiber, five wood, that's nothing, and then one lump of clay and one stone. So it's like they definitely want you to use cobblestone. And I'm pretty sure we can upgrade it right to uh, concrete, but I'm not 100% on that. But let's see, yeah. Yeah, see, there we go, concrete. Or cement mix or whatever. So these are pretty awesome. Anyway, I wanted to show you guys where I was at and how things were going, you know what I'm saying, like just get you kind of caught back up with me. I'm going to go ahead and, oh shit, no, no, oh well, looks like we got to cook up that food now. Um, I'm going to go ahead and get to rolling on getting some necessities and that kind of stuff done. I mean, I don't know, oh god, like really where, I mean, we could start looting, but that's probably what we're going to do. I'll keep the hoodie on us for now. I don't know if we're going to need the coat. But anyway, all this other stuff, I, I counted out the amount of rocks that I actually hit in the first video and hit the same amount. And I didn't get exactly, you know, what I got before. But, I mean, it's pretty freaking close, man. So, it's not like, oh, I died and I'm cheating myself in, you know, god mode items or whatever. You know what I mean? Like, it's... It's pretty legit low-level stuff, so if you have a problem with that, fine. I will start over again and do it all completely legit again, if that's what you want. It's entirely up to you guys, but if you're okay with it, then hey, I say, let's just let bygones be bygones and pretend like that first day one, <laughs> or that first night one, didn't actually happen. You know what I'm saying? Like, it, that wasn't really a thing. If, we're fine. We're about to have our first night one, and it's nice and safe and comfy and cozy in here. I'm going to turn the fire on, you know, tell some stories. Whoops, what am I doing? You know, so anyway, I wanted to just get you guys informed. Uh, we'll probably wait out the night, do some crafting, and I will hop back in, and we're going to go loot that little town that I found, man. I'm, I'm pretty pumped. It's not all that great, but the best part is it has a fucking gas station in it, buddy. And some apartment buildings, so apartments are going to be leather, it's going to be, it's going to be awesome. It's what we need in our life, and it's what we're going to do. So, I'm just, I mean, when we need food, man, I'll just go ahead and grind out, well, let's, let's just make a little bit of it, let's, because she eats like five of them in one sitting. So, it's going to take two minutes and some, 
Let's just give it a little more wood just to double check. Now, I don't think I have... No, I don't have any pipes, so I can't make a forge or anything like that. But we're getting close on the hide if we don't already have it. And anyway, I think about the only thing I have left to do is make some clothes. So anyway, I will see you guys... Oh, excuse me, sorry. I will see you guys in the morning and we are gonna go loot that town up all right guys i went ahead and did the basic stuff i just ran outside grabbed plant fibers upgraded some stuff whatever place down a bedroll do a campfire that kind of stuff okay so now i guess it pauses time completely so spending skill points you've earned a skill point for completing the basic survival quest spend it by accessing your inventory i guess time isn't paused Spend it by accessing your inventory and navigating to the skills menu. Then highlight the desired skill of Perkins purchase. Okay, so we know that. This is what I'm excited about right here. Journey to settlement. Locate trader. So that's awesome. So if you guys want to find out where a trader's at in your world, <clears throat> go ahead and do the quests, apparently. So, okay, White River Citizen. Um... You've proved capable and potential. We've marked a map of the nearest White River outpost. Here you find a trader we can buy and sell goods, trade stories with one of our friendly citizens. Welcome aboard, no. So that gives me a quest point. So see, I get a chain reward. I think I only got one actual point out of it. Yeah, I just got one. And I put my first 10 points into sexual Tyrannosaurus because, you know, that's what we do. Um, oh yes, trader. So, to, to, to locate trader, is it, does it pop, I mean, that's Hub City, right? Does it, does it not pop up? I thought for sure. Oh, 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 okay, yeah, nope, yes, there it is. There's a trader right there, for sure. All right, so click waypoint, and we'll save this as uh, trader, who, because we don't know who. It's two kilometers away, in like the opposite direction of where we want to go. So I'm guessing there's a town over here, so that's awesome. I mean, I, I haven't figured out the map thing yet, but anyway, our, our day two is definitely going to be coming over here and trying to get that workbench and see if we can't um, find a wrench to actually bring it back over here with us. Now, you're probably wondering why I have my inventory all clogged the fuck up. That's because... I know that if there is a workbench there, which I'm hoping, I'm going to take all these and put them all together and just see what happens. Because, I mean, we started at, I want to show you this, we started at 124 and we grinded tonight, obviously. I mean, I made a bunch of bows, started at 124 and what was the bow at? Like 143, I think is what it was at. And so we leveled all this up and now we're at 134 and 184. Um, when I did like the six crossbows together, it bumped me up to like purple. But I mean, dude, if we could have just like two really awesome things, even if we only made this like a level 300, listen to me, only level 300, psh, whatever, all we'd have to do is repair it at that point. And to repair this, it takes what? Like maybe a wood. And this probably takes a little bit of stone. Let's see, we went down like 20 levels on each one we went down 20 but still man i mean we could repair it until we could run back to the workbench even if we can't get a wrench so i wish i could take them all with me i can't um i don't know if we actually have room for a workbench now i have plans to to dig down <laughs> see oh no can i get back out of here please tell me anything um, I have plans to dig under here and make a little like workshop thing. That's why I made this as strong as I did. Because I think I'm just going to go this exact size. And I've already got um, underneath my wall of the base dug out. And then what, what eventually my plan is with this base. I know it doesn't seem super fantastic or whatever. But eventually my plan is to make the bottom just as strong as possible. And then this is this will be our center pillar for where we're going to build our base. You know, we'll build a platform out, we'll have spikes, all that kind of stuff. I want to build like a little dock house over there just, just for shits and giggles, not for any reason. Now, can we shoot through these? Because I thought someone said you could. Okay, maybe not, maybe not with the bow. 
maybe with like a gun or something. I don't know. But I don't have a gun. So we'll have to find that out. But I mean, they'll work for right now. I doubt we're going to have any issues with spider zombies. So I guess in the meantime, man, I guess I'll just say fuck it. And just dump these bad boys back off real quick. I guess I'll just say fuck it. And I'll just start digging under my base. I mean, why the fuck not, right? I don't have anything else to do. So I guess I'll see you guys in the morning because I don't want to go out and run and try and find resources in the dark because it is super dark out there. So fuck that. I will just... Oh, man, we always have to take the ladder out first. Like, I wish that they'd fix that. The ladder basically takes this block. So you have to take the ladder... Oh, fuck. You have to take the ladder completely out before you can actually get under it. See? Because it was like it was a block holding, holding it up. Sorry. But, yeah, we're just gonna... Now, wait. Before I start digging myself down here, can I make ladders to get back out? Oh, yeah. Okay, so we're good. We probably won't go down much more than that. So, anywho, this is what I'm gonna be doing. And with the dirt, we'll use it for the mushrooms or for a farm or, you know, who, who knows, man. We'll, we'll figure something out. Uh, where? Okay, there I am. It's so disoriented down here. Anyway, I'll see you guys in the morning. Alright guys, I cut out the fighting just because, I mean, yeah, it was fun, we killed some stuff, whatever, but I, I've got to get more done in this episode than fight a whole bunch of zombies. We cleared it out, and I thought I hit record on when I was looting the gas station, but apparently I didn't, but basically all we really got was gas. Uh, we got these off a of zombie, which you may or may not have seen. We took apart the zombie bodies for bones and fat and that kind of stuff. A little bit of brass and gunpowder. I mean, we got the treasure map, that was about the only exciting thing, and leather gloves off of one of the zombies. But anyway, Raphael's treasure map. Dear stranger, I've got the cold sweats and it won't be long. Uh, all I can think of in my final hour is if my son Joey is still alive. I have no reason to trust you, but I have no choice. Crazy Jake has kidnapped him. In your hand is a map to one of my many secret supply caches. Promise me if you'll find it, you'll help my son. I'm counting on you, Raphael. And we've got three wheels that we can't really do anything with now either. Since there's no fucking workbench. I mean, okay, I thought I had been picking up paper. Like, I'd been destroying the trash and I thought it was giving me paper. But I guess it was giving me cloth. Hmm. Interesting. We don't really need one cornmeal. Anyway, this is our loop. That's the only... Uh, room I have left to loot is that uh, I don't know what you want to call it safe room or whatever so we'll see if we can, we'll see if we can't get in there and we're just gonna drop this shit off for right now we have one pipe which is good we're gonna need another one at least anyway let me see if I can't get into that safe and I'll come back here in just a second Oh, this is going to take forever. I'll tell you what though, man. If we can find a wrench, we are definitely coming back here because there are mechanical parts for days around this thing. I have no idea why there is no workbench in this gas station. I thought all of them had a workbench, but maybe I'm missing it. I don't know. I'll come back through here with a torch and really look around. But as far as I know, unless a zombie destroyed it, I... I did not see a workbench in this one. Maybe this one doesn't have one. So, my whole plan of putting all my tools together is not going to work. We're just going to have to grind it out the old fashioned way until we can get a uh, workbench. So, I'll see you guys in a second. Alright, we'll see if this is even worth all the effort that it took to get into it. Come on. What you got for me? No. It was not worth it at all. Oh my god. What a waste of time. Anyway, so I guess we're just gonna go... Oh crap, we're full up. Um, you know what? I'm gonna go run back home real quick and come back and get the rest of this shit. So, hold on. So two papers, like, why bother? I have to remember that shit's there. But I'm gonna run home, dump this stuff off. And then we'll come back and see if, I mean, as far as I know, that gas station POI does not have a workbench. Maybe you guys found one and I just missed it. I don't know. I'm going to grab a torch from the house and figure that out. But I will come back here in just a hot second.
Yeah, no, I am not seeing a workbench fucking anywhere, man. So, whatever, I guess. We'll call it... <laughs> Just call it good. I, I don't fucking know. I mean, there's not there's nothing else I can really do. Um, I was gonna put all that shit together and really just enjoy having a leveled up tool and stuff. But anyway, oh well. I guess we'll we'll probably loot this in a time lapse because that I know there's gonna be a lot of time lapses, but I want to just get this like this whole town done on this day if I can. Um, we'll probably loot this little one together. Just because it won't be as big of a deal. And, uh, going through the window, man. It's so much easier. Plus, I think this is like a secured room back here. It's got some iron bars. Yeah, I know we left the magnum parts. I'm, I'm just gonna leave them, man. Like, I don't, I don't care about them right now. Because <clears throat> even if we do get the magnum, it takes, it takes the exact amount of gunpowder that the 762 bullets take, so. It's, it's almost kind of like, why bother for the most part for me? I mean, I'm sure there's a lot of people that like it. I don't really have a Walking Dead be Rick fantasy. I'm more of like a be Daryl fantasy, you know. Oh, nitrate. I mean, I'll take that. Even though now we can get it out of the rocks, it's even. It's kind of like okay, whatever. Well, that's disappointing. <laughs> uh, Shamway is just gonna have food, right? Like it's not gonna have anything I want. No, Mr. Fatty, come to play. You pop that basket. Oops. No, I don't know. I don't know what the hotel has. I'm, I would assume, like, the same as just the apartments. I don't think it has anything special in it. I, I don't know. I haven't looted one yet, so we'll find out. But I'm definitely going to go room to room and figure that bad boy out here in just a second. So, I don't know. Maybe they upgraded the loot in Shamway, but as far as I know... It was all just pretty much basic foodstuffs. Yeah, it's the food crates. What are they hitting? Dude, these zombies are just demolishing this fucking town. Miss Nurse, I see you. Is there a safe? Yeah, there's an office deal. And there's a lot of food boxes, that's nice. Set you on fire. No, no, no. No. Oh, 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 no, no, no. Alright guys, this <laughs> is fucking scary as shit back there, Jesus. Like right now, I fucking forget that I haven't been recording this whole time. So I'm gonna quit pausing the recording. We haven't really looted anything worth a shit so far. I'm sorry, I keep fucking forgetting. Normally I I sit down, I just hit, you know, uh, record, and then I just cut out, you know, an hour, two hours of me just sitting around, but... Jesus, I keep forgetting to hit the fucking button, dude, so, I don't know. The only exciting thing we got is a shopping basket, and we just got scrap iron fucking armor out of a trash bin. <sighs> I'm failing so bad at doing the videos today, man, it's just not, it's not happening. I, oh my god, I worked so fucking hard trying to make that first video good and then I died and it just oh my god I, I could not stop dying either it, it fucking sucked dude I was down to like 60 wellness or whatever 60 health and it just it's like you know there's there's really no coming back from this I'm just gonna scrap this motherfucker just a wrench sweet but of course we don't has anything that oh, okay we can make a forge now at least yeah, that's it. There's no safe. There's no office. For reals? Yeah, no. Just a bathroom in a back room. Fuck, man. Like, this town kind of sucks. I'm glad we're not settling here, you know what I mean? Like, the only thing I have left to loot is this, and I don't even know what the hell's actually in here. I would assume it's just, like, apartment loot. I don't know. Oh, there's a... There's a somebody right there. Let's see if we can get her a sneak shot. Watch out. Oh, that was a good hit. Oh, wait, what? What's going on in here? Oh, it's a parking ramp. Okay, so how do you get your car in here? Oh, I see there's the garage doors. Alright, cool. I, I can dig it. I can dig it. Fucking sweet. God, she's so fast. Oh, get out of there. Alright, so the valet pulls your car up. I mean, this is a pretty fancy fucking hotel for the middle of goddamn nowhere. I'll just say that much right now. Uh, the only thing we've really been getting a lot of are like bills, which awesome. We need all the aid that we can get. 
But, man, I don't know. I, I'm, I'm just so bummed about the workbench, dude. I know I'm kind of bitching about it, but I'm bummed. Like, why the fuck is that get? Well, okay. I'll just take a free dead zombie. Like, it's like an industrial-sized gas station. You know what I'm saying? It's like the big bad daddy of all gas stations. It's got the two car lifts. I mean, it's got... It's got everything. It's got a full service, a full service station. You're telling me there's not like a workbench there? I don't know, man. It seems kind of sketchy to me. My, I mean, the only thing I could figure out is maybe the zombies actually broke it before I could get in there and find it. I don't know. I mean, they do stupid shit because there was a crawler in there that had hit everything. I mean, fucking everything inside that thing. If you watch the video back. That son of a bitch had hit, like, everything. He hit the fucking toilets. He hit the cabinets. I mean, he he was just going to town whacking on anything, which I don't really like. I wish the AI would commit to a block and then stay with it as opposed to just smashing the fuck out of everything. But, you know, whatever. It is what it is. But, okay, so that's the parking garage part of it. I don't know what kind of loot this actually has in it. I mean, it, it's probably good, right? I mean, I would assume. Let's go ahead. And I don't think I've looted this car yet. And then we'll use this as a... I don't know I did. Okay. So we'll just drop stuff off real quick. And then get in that SOB and see what we can get. Come on. Quick, quick, quick. Like, I really didn't get that much food out of the Shamway. Six cans of food? Like, they, they really nerfed what comes out of that thing. I'm happy with the scrap iron armor, but... Wet from one. Is it raining? Oh yeah, it's raining. Okay. But yeah, man, this episode has basically just been a gigantic fail of not remembering to hit the fucking record button or to look over and check that I'm recording because I just oh dude, it's it's random gen. I just get so focused. I'm like oh I gotta I gotta I gotta I gotta, I gotta loot it all, man. I gotta I get all I gotta put out the best shit ever. Is that glass? Fucking for real. We just spent all that time going through the damn door. It's fucking glass. God damn it. Alright, so note to self, if you guys find one of these... Oh, this is fancy. Oh, it's so fancy. And we could have potted plants for days, you know what? I'm gonna... I'm gonna take some of these. I'm, I'm taking this couch, man. <laughs> I'm gonna take some of these bad boys. So... Okay, we got a bunch of doors. Ooh, couches we can tear up for leather. I'm guessing this is like the breakfast area, you know what I'm saying? Like when you go to a nice hotel, oh yeah, for sure. So we can sit down, have a nice continental breakfast. Now, okay, yeah, we have to wrench those apart now. Okay, yeah, that's cool. I'm fine with that. Whoa, cooking pots. Sweet. And these sinks have awesome chances to find wrenches in them, which kind of makes sense. You know, junk drawer in the sink, you know, you... You'd store a wrench there, like a crescent wrench or whatever. Even though the, the what they have is actually kind of like a pipe wrench. Pipe wrench, monkey wrench, I don't know what you want to call it. But, uh, yeah, man, I'm kind of pumped to be looting this with you guys. I don't know. Okay, where does that door go to? Before we waste time breaking into it, where does it actually... So it leads over to the balcony, which leads over to here. Okay. And what is behind this door? So see, instead of breaking through two doors to find out that, well, that there's a balcony there, we're just going to break through this one and see what's on the other side. Now, like I said, I don't want to, I don't want to time lapse this whole video, but God, I'm about half tempted to just, I don't know, man. It's definitely going to be, <laughs> there's going to be a lot of sped up parts in this one for sure. Um, because I mean, it's a it's a 90 minute day. I, I turned it back down from two hours after that first day, just to kind of get caught up. And okay, so why were you locked? And what's important? Oh, a whole bunch of ovens. I don't remember what they give us. And another another treasure map. So I mean, at least we got a couple of treasures we can go get. We got a bunch of pipes, which is nice. Um, but yeah, I'm just. Oh man, I'd love it if there was like a workbench in this thing, or you know, whatever, but I don't know, this is cool. This is my first time I've actually been in this thing. I gotta search the bottoms now too. Oh, potatoes! Potatoes, we're gonna take the spuds. Coffee, nice. So, we get back, we could probably build a forge, we could get a little farm going. We could, you know, be able to feed ourselves indefinitely for the most part. 
get our water situation, which that's kind of like, that's kind of why I wanted to build where I did, was because if I need water, I just literally have to run out the front door and go scoop some up and boom, there we go. You know, I got it all. But I guess this is like the, the, um, the employee kitchen. You know, you got the prep stations over here, you got the cookeries, you got the fridge. Yeah, it's kind of cool. Okay, so we've looted the back half of that the front okay here's the registers i don't know i don't know if it's worth breaking into all of these levels and stuff you know i'm not 100 percent sure because like in the apartments if you go to the top floor dude you find the uh there's a there's a safe and like a munitions box and you know a bunch of stuff but as far as this goes, man, I don't know. I mean, all the leather's gonna be nice since we have scrap iron. What the hell? Got like a prison in this bad boy? Got a jail cell in the fucking hotel. That's interesting. Sorry for my phone. I'm working on trying to get laid tonight. So, wish me luck in that. If you're watching this, well, I will know, but you won't know <laughs> by the time this goes up. I'll, I'll inform you guys on whether or not it happens. I have a feeling it will. We've, uh, I've spent time with her before, and it was, it was really good. But, you know, the time and reasons and other things kind of push people apart, and it is what it is. But Now, those were all the couches I saw earlier, yes? I think so. Like, I don't see any reason to bust through 5,000 units of iron bars if we can just go... <laughs> Oh, it's a gift shop. Okay. Oh, I get it. And then that's like a, <clears throat> like the pull down doors that the malls have. Awesome. All right. Cool. I can I can dig it. I will also take. Oh. Okay. So the couch comes up in one hit. That's cool. It's not a sectional anymore. You know where it breaks up into pieces. Now, if I bust one of these, do I get the actual thing back, or is it just giving wood? Just wood. Okay. So we actually do have to build those now. Which I like. There's a little balcony deal. Yeah, okay, so here's the first floor. Now, I think the... Oh, there's a hole. Uh, we looted that, right? Yes. Yes, no, yes. Yeah, that was the breakfast area. And then, oh yeah, here we go. Here's more of the, um, like, seating lounge areas. You know, you'd have the computers up or whatever. And in here is... Is what? I don't... Have we been in there? I think we've been in there. Yeah, that was the gift shop. Oh, man, I'm getting turned around. All right, so that's the gift shop. So I think we've looted both of the... <clears throat> both of the sides. Well, maybe not that one side back there. Yeah, because here's the kitchen. So I don't think we looted this one. Oh, crap. Fucking stone axes, man. I need to go get stone. Ugh. All right. I'll see you guys in just a second. that and a free torch. Got a little makeshift campsite up here. He didn't make it, poor guy. 
do it again with the magnum parts. I know, I know. If I, if I find the magnum book, I'll come back and put together a shitty magnum for you, but I'm sticking to the pistol hunting rifle for now. If we can get hunting rifle parts. So it's a working stiff crate. And what is this one, I wonder? This is pro it's probably a working stiff too. <laughs> no, it's a gun store crate. Cool. Both of them fucking empty. So, you know, really fucking helpful. Thanks, fun things. Well, I guess that's going to do it for me in this one. I'm going to go back home. And, sorry, I was kind of down, dude. I just, I'm not getting that work pension. <laughs> just ruined my night, man. I was like, as soon as I saw that town, I was fucking jacked. Like, yes, yes, yes. I'm going to have a workbench. I'm going to just build a whole shitload of tools, combine them all, and then we'll end up with, like, fucking, like, I don't know, good tools. <laughs> you know? We won't be stuck with the orange and then have to go to yellow and da da da. We could fucking be at green and blue before the fucking, you know, the night's even over kind of deal, but we'll be okay. So let me run all this shit back to our base, take it stacks, and we'll come back for the rest. And um, I'll see you guys in the next one. We'll probably have the forge set up. And we'll be working on that. Plus, I've got to go on a grind and get stone and uh, wood like crazy. So I'll probably, I'll probably end up just building myself um, a, an iron pick and an iron um, fire axe. That way, uh, it, it'll help level us up a little bit faster. And I'm not seeing any like super big trees, which is. We're gonna have to go find them too. I mean, dude, I mean, it just it looks so cool here. Like, this is where I would want a base. You know what I'm saying? Like, out in the woods, right by a lake. Like, to me, that seems pretty badass. Whoa, those fuckers stack now. Holy shit, do they stack. So, is that a thing? Oh, fucking A, right. Dude, I am digging that. I just wish the regular water would stack like that, but. Awesome. So, we'll just. God. I know, and all of these were I know. I need wood, but fuck it, whatever. We need space more than I need wood right now. Because I just took care of that earlier. Bazinga! No, I'm just kidding. Oh god, that'll probably get me copyrighted on YouTube too. Oh, sweet little fuck here. But let me make up some room. And I mean, basically you're looking at the loot that we got from the town. I mean it's it's not it's not horrible. I mean it's day two. You know, I, you gotta remember that I was on, what, like, day, I don't know, 15 or whatever, with a bunch of leveled up perks and all that kind of stuff, so, I mean, yeah, it's gonna be a lot better loot than what we got here, but, I mean, still, I don't think it's too bad, it could be worse, I, I could be a, it could be a lot better, but, <coughs> I mean, we did get a couple treasure maps, and... Um, I'm thinking that what we'll probably do is go and find the settlement, the trader settlement in the next episode, and we will do um, as much as we can to kind of combine stuff. I would, I would love if they would add where the merchants sold books. That would be freaking awesome. Like, I know that would probably be OP, but I mean, fuck, they're selling like leather chess pieces for... I don't know, what, like, 10, 11 grand, you know, something like that, like, a lot of fucking, a lot of monies that I don't have, but, anyway, we're definitely gonna build up from here, I really hope you guys are enjoying this series, um, if you are, man, you know, let me know, uh, go ahead and leave a comment if you want, and I will definitely get back to you, it may not be right away, because, like I said, I've got a day job, so, but I, I do appreciate your support, and you know, just keep it up, man. And I'll keep, I'll keep pumping out videos for you. I realize I'm not probably anywhere close to being uh, popular, or whatever, on YouTube. But I'm enjoying doing it. I'm going to be playing this game anyway. So if the only thing that's different is I hit a record button when I remember to hit the fucking record button, <laughs> you know, if I just hit the record button and kind of yammer on to myself and. I don't know, make myself feel better about myself. Okay. If you follow that. <laughs> anyway, I will see you guys in the next one. And I hope you guys have a good one. Bye. Okay, I lied. We have to do something else. Oh, it's lead. Okay, it's just lead.
It's just lead. Don't worry about it. <laughs> oh man, I, I thought I was like, oh, that's iron. Oh, our problems are solved. We'll be making tools. We'll have all the fuck iron we want. It's gonna be pretty badass. We need to upgrade our spikes. And I need to kind of figure the jankiness of getting in and out. Um, I'd love to build a porch, but unfortunately, aesthetics and defense are not, do not always go hand in hand. So, here is our loot. This is what we got. I'm gonna go ahead and make up a forge, figure this shit out, and what we're gonna put where. A lot of just shuffle from this box to that box, this box to that box, whatever. And we'll probably end up putting the forge down here. I don't know where, probably in this corner. Anyway, I will see you guys in the next one. Have a good one. Bye.